Oh wow, my intense tea burner. Jeez. It's filling up the room with like dangerous gas. Jesus Christ, Shibsawa. Tajibana Hudosan no Tanoji Munai. Sora soda. The Toma Honki de Sanastia. Fair enough. I'm not really trying that hard. This is the worst working relationship that has ever existed in this series. It's not a great one. They could not stand each other less. Did I say that right? They could not stand each other less. Yeah, okay, I did. Yeah, it's fine. Man, get those bags checked in the overhead compartment there, Benicio. God damn. <laughs> I just noticed. Oh, yeah, he's looked crazy tired. <laughs> Sagawa's tiredness shows crazy growth. I was, I was thinking that, but I was like, I'll save that for later. It's a lot of uh, blackout god on that desk. Oh, he literally can't walk around because everyone's going to be like, what are you? Why? Get out. What, Majima? No, uh, Sagawa. Because he's a known head of a family out in Osaka. So if he's out in this turf, everyone's going to be like, the fuck are you doing here, man? Yeah, this is our turf. But uh, Majima's a new guy. And he's from this, this part of town. Kind of. You should be. He's huge and evil. Yeah, but it's cooler to say you're not afraid of the huge and evil person. Shimano is super evil. And gotten almost no screen time at all in this entire game. There's his injury. Remember, we were like, why is he okay? We saw that in the last cut. He just has a little bandage on his hand. That's correct. That's his shooting injuries. Yes. He doesn't heal as much as, as Kiryu does. Oh, it's Shimano. Traitor Shimano. Straight up. We just learn immediately. Well, yeah, because everyone on Kiryu's side doesn't know, but I guess here the. Well, yeah, of course the guys that are getting it sold to would know who the fuck it is. Why can't we all get along? Or I feel like. Like, okay. I get you're all technically different outfits. Yes. But you're all part of the same giant organization. Like, this is not turf wars with the Koreans. With the Russians. Or the, or the Chinese, or the South Americans, or the cartel. Right? We're all, we should all work together. This is your home turf? There are foreign criminal syndicates that want a piece of it. Yeah, but they're very small. And they're, 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 you know, if you all teamed up, you could take over the entire country. Wouldn't it be more cost effective to just cooperate? Remember, remember the start of the Warriors? Was so the gangs make the really good point that, hey, if all of us team up, we, out, we outnumber the cops a million to one. And everyone's like, what? I didn't know that. It's like that. Just, oh, man. But everyone wants to be king. Yeah, that's the problem. I don't know about you, but being part of the king's posse seems like a good deal to me. Yeah, if, then you're just part of the king dumb if like everyone owns everything and you're all happy. Do I get a fancy house and a nice car? You get an okay house. Okay, that's okay fine. Car. I can deal with that. Glory is overrated. I want this house, but I don't want to have a pool because I don't want my children to have a pool. Children just jump in that shit and kill themselves all the time. Don't get a pool. You should get a pool. Damn. Pool is like a mosquito trap for the local children. <laughs> no pool. 
Wow, Shimano's making deals all over, huh? Kiri's like, I dropped my glasses in your pool. Go get them for me. <laughs> Majima's like, I dropped my iPad. I would describe the situation currently as fluid, yeah. yes. You know, when you're driving down the highway and it says the circulation is fluid, yeah, that's what this is. Yeah. We have a lot of liquidity in the situation. Imagine was like, I understand, and I'll, I'll kind of go along with what you're saying. You do realize that this pot of tea is going to burn down this building. It's been on boiling for the entire conversation. It's been set on inferno. Okay. I guess you want your tea super hot, but I don't... I mean... There's such a thing as too much. There okay. is such a thing. Champion District, huh? Go to Champion District, huh? So... Oh, oh. That's weird. Oh. Oh. Was that a tiny Mr. Shakedown? No, okay. I'm no, lying. No, that's not a thing. Um, That's a fantasy. You just so here's concocted. the thing I don't understand. They said that Tachibana's been seen in the Champion District, right? That's not true. He's been in Little Asia on dialysis for days, and then immediately got his ass whooped over it. The thing. So either whoever gave Shub uh, uh, Sagawa his information was wrong, or wow, you guys really want some, huh? Yeah, no. Or this is like a huge trap. Uh, what it could be is that they might just be basing it off old information, like he was seen a while ago, and that's all they know. I don't. Know. Who the fuck knows? Wow, this guy got a Chinese sword. Look at that. Yeah, we fought one other guy that had that. It's pretty rare. Well, you're all dead. I'm actually kind of shocked it's taken. And we're still not at the Kiryu meets Majima level. I would have thought it would have happened by now. It's got to be the next chapter. No, no, for sure it is, but, like, I'm kind of taken aback at how separate their stories are. Yeah, if you, if, you had, if you had told me at the very, very beginning that they wouldn't meet until, like, this late, I would have said you're crazy. Yeah. When they teased us with the man in the white suit, but that was just a red herring. Yeah. And then they yeah. teased us... With the uh, goddamn uh, with his business card, yeah, and yeah, even yeah. that kind of went nowhere. Sure that would be it, because that's the stinger. I think that's what they're doing. They're trying to be make you go, "Oh, is it going to be?" No, 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 stop stroking. Is Tachibana in here? Is he stroking around? There was a weird guy standing. The I end did of that see alleyway. that weird guy. I did see it. <laughs> Really, I'll see that weird guy last. I, uh, I'm really nervous when I looked at an alley and there's a weird guy. Oh, no, oh. no, those are weird guys. Oh, Run away. Oh, away. They'll never find you in this Grecian style. Look at, look at the minimap. Look at the minimap. Did you see that shit? It was weird. Ooh. Hey, weird guy. I would what do you like. Want? Where, where's he at, man? Tell me now. Mind if I scoop out your brain? Yes, I am a family man. Yeah. I would, I, I don't believe you. Despite everything about me, I'm not. Yeah. No, it's not around here. Oh. Shit's pretty bad. Seems, seems like everyone's yelling about some fucking lots. This is the first time we just talking to some generic guy who lives in an area and is like, "Yeah, shit's real bad." So this is weird. He's looking for her, but I could just go to where she's at, right? Oh, well then, there you go. Sure is. I'm I'm hard to forget. That it couldn't be less intimidating. Yeah. You guys must be the next guys I'm going to beat up. It's true. I've actually done pretty well. I run a cabaret. Would you like some free tickets? Yeah, 
It's like when you have a character like this and a character like Kiryu, and even though they're, 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 they're at the start of their respective Yakuza careers, yeah. Yeah. people should know by just this adventure alone, holy shit, this guy has beaten so many odds at every turn that when generic punks come up to you this late in the game and they're like, fuck you, you're nothing. So I remember... In fucking Black Panther or whatever, I always wanted to play Black Panther. They they actually explain why Kiryu gets into so many fights, and it's all the generic street punks in Kamurocho. Like the leaders know that Kiryu is like a psycho badass, and they're and they're and they, they, they want to make a name for themselves the, the, by being the, the ones to beat them. The three the three punks are all like they're red uh, red white blue. Yeah, and. They're aware that he's a freakazoid and can't be beaten, right? So, and that you beat them up in Yakuza 1. Yeah. Right? And what they end up doing is they're like, they just tell the generic thugs. <laughs> what? They, what? Hey, every year there's this badass with a gray suit that comes around. You should fucking beat him up. He's super rich. You get to, or whatever. And they, and that's their hazing process. They just feed people to him. And that's fine. I'm, I, I think that's totally fine. That's the thing that makes at least a bit of sense. Whereas here, like... Okay, how many guys has Majima fucked up? A hundred? Two hundred? It, it depends on what you're reading, but like a similar thing is that like... When they throw around the metric just really briefly... They'll go, the Punisher is killed of what we know, 2,000 people over the course of five years. <laughs> so when some guy is like, yeah, it's going to be me. I'm going to be the one to take him. Sure is. Yeah, we watched. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, that's kind of what you're talking about. Those were like new stupid guys that didn't really know. Great! Awesome! Kind of busy. Ramdom! And you see, it was the Ramdom building. Yeah. That is pretty random. All the fucking idiots will be up. Oh. Okay. Are we finally gonna hang out with Shimano? Looks like. Whoa. <laughs> that was some fancy eating you done there. Hey, Michael Madsen. Ah. Uh. One of the single worst casting decisions in Yakuza 1's dub is to have casted this guy as Michael Madsen. He is awful as him. The sweat coming out of his pores. This couldn't be more detailed. Wow, you look crazy out of place in this pla in this room, Sagawa. You see his expression. Oh, that's great. Oh, I love it. I love it. Great. All right. Everyone in this room looks like they're from a fucking different anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because for certain characters, they change their art style, their face. Like, they're way more exaggerated and cartoony. Like, this is the most realistic man ever. Yeah, Sagawa looks like a normal person. And Shimano looks like he's from fucking Fist of the North goddamn star. Shrek edition. Yeah, he's from Shrek of the North Star. Someone draw that. It's been done. I bet you I could fucking pull Shrek of the fucking North Star on my phone right the fuck now. 
Donkey for sure. Oh, no. So no, 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 I just forgot. Remember, remember uh, Double the North Star? Yes. You know, we always go key, and that was our go to. Yeah, that's correct. But you know what the really, really underrated line of that was? Was, was when, um, uh, whatever, the bad guy. What's the bad guy in the first, run, the first arc? It's not Rao. It's like, uh, Mr. Per Mr. Hart? No, no. Oh, well, whatever. The bad guy that sold the girl yeah. from, from, from Ken. <laughs> and he's like, so Ken's back. And she's like, Ken? Did you say Ken? Oh, never mind. And she's like, wait, are you talking about Ken? Yes, Ken! The fucking voice acting in that line was amazing. Really, Shimano? That was your fucking plan? What if I was awesome at my job and just straight up killed her in two seconds? Yeah. Yeah, I'd be fucking pissed if I was Sakawa too! I almost killed Majima over this! <laughs> what? <laughs> the what? It hasn't even been upkept well. Yeah, but I mean, if it was, the people would be like, is this place important? Fuck tons of money. Can't believe it's shitting the bed. Never before shitting the bed. I tried, but it didn't work out. Oh, you like it? Wow. <laughs> Man, it's just convulsing over here. Have you just given up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you totally failed. And you mean, like, finish the full thing, but it's kind of funnier that way. Never before shitting the bed. <laughs> How'd you get it underneath the mattress? That's crazy. Yeah, I know, I'm really good. You never. So, Dojima and Shimano still mad at, at Kazuma. Because, like, certain characters talk fine. Like, Kiryu is fine. Majima is alright for the most part. But, like, characters like Shimano or whoever will say things like, fuck done, shit the bed. Whatever. Englishisms. Yes! He's dicking with Dojima! He can openly dick with him! Oh man, we're some open dicking in here. Yeah, gee, just spread it. Stick your butt out. Pour money in. He's so crass. Uh -uh. <laughs> Why, why do all these things that made no sense, sir? I am so happy that characters are like, this, this plan is stupid. It's like, uh, it's like in the room where they're like, oh, uh, I'm, I'm cheating uh, on uh, Johnny. Who are you cheating on with? I don't want to talk about it. Then why'd you bring it up? Even love was in the cards. Poking, poking holes in the narrator's own, like, threads. We're, we're moving into fucking Revolver Ocelot territory. Yeah, it's getting there. Where none of your motivations make any sense until outside factors influence them. Yeah. Factors that you couldn't possibly have planned for. Okay, we needed to flush all of Kazuma's bed shit or whatever. Toss it overboard. But you're the traitor, Shimano. <laughs> <laughs> He's hoping no one knows that, but everyone knows that, at least on this side of the tale. 
Wow, you're gonna look really embarrassed when Sarah's your fucking boss in a couple years. Ferreting them out. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Just walk around like nothing happened. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Sagawa, could we have just removed you entirely from the plot and nothing would have changed? Um, maybe. You look sad about that. Okay. I wasn't gonna. And I had several chances. That's an honest... Well, Tojo shit notwithstanding... That's honestly the straight up best case scenario for her. She just straight up sells it and then goes away. <laughs> Amazing. This deal's getting worse all the time. That little minx. Yeah, she's a real fox. It's a little sex pot, that blind girl. That's pure and innocent. Japan. Yeah, that's true. Can we have help? <laughs> Oh, they better go, like, Kiryu Kazuma? Oh, he's some bitch, Majima. You can take him, no problem. Yeah. I'm sure you won't have an entwined destiny for decades to come. <laughs> it's, always a, it's always a bit of a problem with prequels. Yeah. That, that, that tread too much familiar territory? So they have a big fight and then it fades to black and all you hear is oh, 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 sure. These two assholes are just sitting around and saying, Hey, it's a great deal. Everything's great. Hey, Majima, is it great? Is it super awesome? It's kind of weird that you haven't said a thing. The whole conversation. You think it's great too, huh? I'm going to take by your stone silence that you love this plan. Okay. Let's go. Let's go a little bit. Oh wow! Like I feel like he's about to go nuts and start stabbing everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'd be pretty upset too. Yeah. It's gonna touch him. Hey, I think you owe me an apology. Nani. I don't understand. Japanese are a very polite society, but Yakuza's makes me think that every single bump in the road leads to abject violence. All right, here he goes. Ah. I'm gonna be real here. I didn't expect that was the way it was gonna go. Wow, this guy is really angry. So he's mad that he lost at Pachinkis. Uh, <sighs> see, I've mastered the art of not giving a fuck. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure Majima would be fine. Is this to even out with Kiryu's gunshots? You mean the gunshots that haven't affected him? Yeah, that's right. Well, as soon as this cutscene's over, he's gonna be completely fucking fine. You wanna know remind this of? They remind this of uh, the second Fatal Fury anime where Terry doesn't give a fuck anymore. Yeah. He's just getting tossed out of bars and knocked around. He's yeah. like, I don't care. I'm always gonna lose against Krauser. Oh, wow, look at my fucking face. Why can't you afford another pant leg, Tony? Oh, man. 
I feel bad for Nishki. He's fucking step one on the fucking Beatdown Express. I'm gonna get you and your fucking Magikarp. Population Nishki. That's it. Man, that fucking Magikarp tattoo does not translate in any way in any fucking planet. No way. I did it. I found it. I don't know, I kind of feel like they might talk it out. We're gonna talk it out. Let's, Let's do, do this shit. shit. Shit the bed. See that really bad walking out I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> and here it is again. <laughs> I would like to buy some sandpaper, oh, please. Yeah. All of your finest yeah, yeah. sandpaper toilet paper. <laughs> I'm looking for Nishiyama. Never mind my sores and oozing wounds. Yes. Yeah. Really? No, he likes me a lot. It's kind of a joke. That guy in the middle looks like such a jackass. <laughs> I don't why are you so mean? He's just doing his job. He's doing it you yet. Kashiwagi. Finally! Someone's actually doing it! It's been a while since we've seen him. Who are you? Scarface? And his, he's in Yakuza too, and he couldn't look more different. Like, he might as well be a completely new character. Like, like voice is different, his look is different. The only thing that's the same is he has a scar. Sure. Two, like, Yakuza 1 and 2, do they start, like, are they, uh, time-wise, do they start when the games are mostly released, or are they, like, a few years in the past? What do you mean, exactly? Like, the, when you, Yakuza 1 came out, like, whatever, 2003? Yeah. But do they actually take place in, like, 1999 or something, or do they actually take place in 2003, or do they not even start? I, uh, they, I believe they take place... The beginning takes place ten years in the past, and then yeah, chapter yeah, two onwards take place like more or less current, and that's continued onwards. Right. Now for us, they've been way behind. Well, yeah, uh, but they pretty much come out more or less the year that, like they're they're modern. Give or take. And they always they always oh, nearly always take place around Christmas. And they, they release in, like, November and shit. The one in Field of Japan, does that take place in modern times? No. Oh. No, it doesn't. I lied. Yes, it does. It's a virtual reality sim. <laughs> <laughs>